Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to St. Cloud State University. We are over here at Brainstorm number 10. We currently got Mel from Frisch versus Solomon here in Losers uh, Top 8. First round of Losers Top 8. Solomon coming in, they beat Borasmu in Losers Round 3, 2-0. Malifavish coming in, beat Mel 2-1. Malifavish was going Bowser against Mel. Looks like he's going to switch off and maybe going with an Inkling instead. <laughs> Both players taking their time. I'm just trying to fill time right now by just talking a lot, and they have not even picked the stage yet. Do you want to hop on commentary? It's up to you. Solomon does not trust my ability to solo commentate, so here we go. <laughs> well, solo, solo commentating is kind of kind of awkward in general, so CEZ's here to save the day. This is Bill Rasmus, by the way. Got an inkling Yoshi. I foresee... Um, you know, I'm really liking the blue character in this matchup. I really think that the light blue character is going to be the one that's going to be taking this one. <laughs> it's definitely a minty matchup. It's that's definitely sure. the mintiest of matchup. I'm looking at toothpaste right now. Yeah, definitely putting on the extra, I don't know to call that sauce, or a toothpaste in this case with the quick 0 to 57 just up airs alone. So if uh, we get Solomon who gets inked, can we even tell if he's been inked at all? Because really, these colors are so similar. Who knows? I guess we'll actually see in, in a bit here when he uses the neutral B eventually, but I don't know. I really think that, because when it comes to killing Yoshi, you have to punish the fact that he jumps over ledge. And uh, we'll see how well Inkling can do that. That's really what's going to come down not to. Not a character that can just grab the ledge whenever he wants to. Definitely not. That's the exploitable thing about the about the character. But yet on stage, Yoshi is just such a monster in himself. So let's see what happens. Going to get with the forward smash there. Up three stocks to his stolen. But he's sitting 101%. So definitely... A close one right now, but we can see if uh, Melfish can take off his stock. Certainly in a grab, uh, grab follow-up percentage window as well, with uh, with the no rage and probably exiting that now as I speak. You know, going past the 130 mark, but oh, definitely not going to happen now. He's going to send him too far away. No fox up throw up here now. <laughs> Gotta try to find the rock kill, and that's something tough for uh, Inkling, but he's able to get a down smash right there. And even though it looks safe on, on the shield with Yoshi's tilts, it's he's still got a to punish for. Oh, Ooh, dirt nasty spike right from there. Solo. You got a DI way when you see Solomon trying to jab you at ledge, and then Melf is just taking all of that. And he's taking a lot more with his Yoshi up airs. <laughs> Just really watching the neutral play out here. Inkling just fighting, trying to get something going. Yeah, there's only 30% on this Yoshi. Look at that shield, shield damage. He is in so much trouble at 104%. He's got a whole stock that he has to take up after this, too. Okay, with the grab, but still gets the jab. Yoshi is off stage. Slap bomb, not going to quite hit. Yep, just canceled, canceled the egg. Nothing happened. <laughs> Oh, he's going to see if he can try to break his shield. No, he's in trouble now. He's kind of stuck, and the force is going to do it. <laughs> oh. Leg you here. He ran out of ink. I don't know what his plan was, but... Uh, to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I did not know you could hold it for that one. The heart was there, that for, that's for sure, but, but, but the ink wasn't. Yeah, we've all been there before. I don't play Inkling, so I've never been there before. Oh. Right, right when the game came out, everyone just hating on Inkling because the because the the character is just so. I don't want to call it Let's easy, but just the, easy. We got the Bowser coming out for Metal for Fish, so he's gonna just try and just beat the crap out of this Yoshi with some smash attacks, and now he's going up with some up tilts. I really, oh my I really God, like the just... logic of uh, fight fire with fire. If you're uh, getting snuffed out by the super armor and the and the tilts and the up airs, well. Hello. Just hit back twice as hard. Exactly. You got your own super armors. A lot of jabs are not going to work very well against Bowser. But now he's kind of at the percent where they're going to start working again. Ooh, Ooh Nair's going to knock Yoshi off stage. Big forward smash right there. Doesn't matter how great your combo is as Yoshi if you just get back air to forward smash by Bowser. It is over no matter where you are on the stage. Ooh, he even put a little sauce on that one too. Really yeah, unliking the nares out of Yoshi, though. Really keeping him in an awkward position, forcing him to get to ground safely. Oh, he's in trouble out here, trying to recover against the Yoshi. Forward smash from Yoshi's going to do it. We're tied two stocks to two. Great grab oh. by Solo. 
And that then was Nair! Is he gonna get him? No, he just was able to get back. He would have gotten forward smash. He would have been in huge trouble trying to get back. Down there is back to stage. Up the uh, shield, nowhere near Solomon, though. Okay, he eats the back air. He's off stage. And will he get stage control back? He will. No, he's forward air again off stage. Bowser just trying to hold it down. Trying to be patient. Just gets good grabbed spot again. Dodge there by Solomon to get around that. I don't know. Bowser bomb. What is that called? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> the down B. The down B. Both these characters got the down B. Oh, no, there's no way that Solomon meant to do that. Doesn't get punished for it though. Okay, she moves back to ledge and takes it the up air or the up smash. Excuse me. He's got to go a bit Super Saiyan here. Falls in with the up air. I like it. Well, if it's a character that can do it, it's definitely Bowser. Just want a couple strong hits and, you know, it's even or you're dead. And then, of course, once he gets him past that 130 mark, Ooh. you know, the unstaled side be able to start killing on the platform. Ooh, just not with the back air. Great back air, just down. squeezing it in. Nice back air. Very nice back air. <laughs> up B out of shield. 75% for Bowser, but that is not nearly as big a deal because you got Bowser that can live for a long time just of how heavy he is. Up B out of shield again missing. Solomon's doing a really good job of landing and being away from Bowser, so he's not getting punished with that. Just not letting him land. Constant eggs, really keeping him on his toes. Forward smash and almost does barely it. Barely lives. As if. And then back air. And no, living again. Not quite. Oh. Hey, no! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh the forward air is going to spike him. He should have DI'd to death. Solomon takes it two games to none. He moves on into loser's bracket where he has to face the loser of 27. So he plays loser 27. Loser 27 looks really good, though. Really get great stuff from both players. Uh, congratulations to Solo for moving on and uh, great showing by uh, Metal Fish as well. Getting top eight. Mm -hmm. All right, this has been BLRasmo. And see easy. We'll see you for the next one.